All right, the rhythm this week. We're going to be doing it in the three, four time signature. So just three beats per bar. And everything lasts a beat and a half. So the quarter note tied to the eighth note. And then the other way around, eighth note tied to the quarter note. Three eighth notes long. That's what we got here. Beat and a half, beat and a half. So when you're working on this, as I'm going to demonstrate, keep that hand moving the whole time. Don't stop at all. Just keep it nice and smooth. So there's a couple ways of counting this, especially with it being uh, in a 3-4 time signature and everything being the same length apart. So you can count it like, let's see, I'll just demonstrate it like this now. So you can just say only what you play, You're doing the one and one and. You can at least quietly say the two and the three, so like one and one and three. Or you can count threes. So going like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That can be very helpful because of like spacing out this polyrhythm idea. It's polyrhythm because you got the the quarter notes making each bar. So basically do one, two, three beats. That happens at you know whatever tempo you're you're set at. And then you got the chords that are evenly spaced apart. So basically the two, the two chords are going at their own tempo. So you got like two tempos going on at the same time. It should be called a poly tempo. Um, that's basically it right there. So two chords evenly spaced across your three beats. Uh, so here we go on the count of three, 60 beats per minute. So I'll like demonstrate counting these things. Uh, a couple different ways at the same time. Well, I'd like do it one way for the first half and then another way for the second half. So one, two, three, one, and three, one. faster counting in threes might make it easier all right 120 one two three one very quietly going one two three one two three one two three one two three very very helpful making sure I'm on track let's try 240 one two one two three wait one two one two three this is very tough at this speed especially when you haven't worked it up or practiced it much one two one two three that that is totally fine totally understandable just get where you can all right let's try 180 for some repetitions much more manageable at this pace one, two a one two three i didn't change chords properly one two one two three to the 
tapping. There we go. Okay. Back down to 60. Yeah, I changed the, the time limit for this thing. So give yourself, you know, up to 15 minutes on this one. I think that'd be fine uh, before adding in repetition stuff. So, but uh, yeah, take little breaks as you're working it up. You know, just 30, 60 seconds here or there if you need to, if your hands are getting too sore or anything like that. All right, here we go. 60. One, two, three, and oh, four, and oh. you better all right the bends so this symbol right here means play the previous two bars again so with this because I really want to get you to focus on those um, on those bends on the top three strings we're gonna make sure you get two good ones before moving on to the next part okay I'm gonna use the same track as last time Let's get some reverb and delay. Make this more interesting.
string. Scroll down. All right, G string. There we go. Questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again next week.